Here we have a Technofix play lock, as in a locomotive, as they call it. It's item number 337, which is made in 1972. This is the first of three models slash units they released in 1972. As you can see, this is one of those very unusual ones that has dual numbers. It's actually three numbers, 337, 394, and 3370. However, I go with the 337, and that's the one that they use for 1972. You can see you have the original box, missing the side flap here, a little damage. Hold the box. Let's open it up and take a look at it. The inside model is in beautiful shape. Helps if you get it right. Oh, the directions are right here on the large flap on one of them. And let's pull you out, take a look. Helps if you get it right side up. Here is the model, as you can see. It's made out of a plastic material, what we would call vacuum formed. However, back in 72, they didn't really have vacuum formed. What they did was they had a male and female die via pressure and heat. They squished the two together, and this is what you ended up with. So what they did was they printed a flat sheet first. And as you can see, this one is in really good shape. A lot of times, the copy will get elongated because of the way they manufactured it. But this one came out really, really good. The colors are nice and sharp. There's no cracks or breaks anywhere on this. There is just a little bit of metal. You have a bridge here. And a uh, little garage on the other side, you'll see in a second. But you can see the colors are really good. The corners are good, the creases are good. And bottom side is beautiful. It's completely clean. No stress cracks anywhere around it on the track. It's a very, very good example of the item number 337. And you can see right here is the train. It's locked in by an elastic. You simply lift the elastic up. And under the train is the original Technofix key, as you can see. So we'll take the key out. And here's the train. So there's the entire setup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it up, back it into the house here. This is the locking system. This, this actually locks the train. When it comes back down, it holds it. All you do is you lift it up to release it, and it goes up the hill, around, stops here, and backs up into here. And the cool thing is when it comes into the port or the station, if you will, when the train comes in, the little guy comes out the door. And when the train leaves, he goes back in. So this is a clockwork item. This has a clutch mechanism underneath, which I'll describe that in one second. It's key, but let's give it a quick wind first. Try to hold it so the bottom doesn't spin. And I always try not to overwind these things. Oops, get to the very end. And put it on the track. I'm going to pull it back and lock it into place. It's locked into place now. And what you do is you simply let it go, and off it goes. Now this, as I mentioned, has a clutch clutch mechanism. You can see the grooves on the track on the incline. Then there's a little pause where it just rolls and gravity takes over. There's a little bit more of an incline. And then this is all gravity all the way down. The clutch mechanism is key because it actually shuts off, which means it adds a lot of life or longevity to the train itself. So you'll get multiple laps. Rather than having the clockwork run in areas that it's not needed, it saves it and stores it so you get more enjoyment out of it. Anyways, enough said. Let's let it go and off she goes. And again, you got to release it every time. As you can see, it's beautiful working. The guy comes out. Let it go, let it go. And you get five or six times out of it. Every now and then, it won't make it all the way back. But that's not that it's down a little bit now. Again, I didn't wind it all the way. This should be the last one. And there you have it, a perfect Technofix play lock from 1972, 337. Thank you for your time.